How can you go from being eligible to ineligible for a VA home loan because of a CAVERS report? Now, this is also when your financial picture hasn't changed, right? So your credit report hasn't changed, your income hasn't changed, your assets haven't changed, but this one report can deny you the VA home loan no matter how well qualified you are for the program. So let's break down what a CAVERS report is. It's a credit alert verification reporting system. All government loans pull a CAVERS report. Now, this is going to affect VA loans, FHA loans, and USDA loans. Now, the component of this is that it doesn't affect conventional loans. So sometimes if you pop up on this report, which we're going to explain what the report monitors and fixes for these different issues. But again, this is why sometimes veterans that have these things on their credit report or on this CAVERS report are going to be disqualified from the VA home loan. So CAVERS monitors federal debt, which includes your student loans. So if you default on student loans on credit or off credit, it doesn't make a difference. It's going to pop up on there. Any type of government overpay, so any kind of back pay that you owe, this can include VA disability. So if you got paid too much from the government, then you would actually have to pay that money back. It's on your VA.gov. If you go there, you're going to see any money that you owe. Uh, and also, if you leave the military owing money because of TA-50, right, returning any type of field gear, even if it's $50, won't be on your credit report, but it's going to be on the CAVERS report. Uh, any type of foreclosure that you have, which is a VA home loan, FHA loan, or USD loan, is going to be reflected on this report. And this also includes SBA loans, which I actually found out recently that I had a client that had something from about 12 years ago because they borrowed money from the SBA, they default on it because the business went out of business, and then the VA came back that said that, hey, you have this on your KVS report, you can't use the VA home loan. Now, one thing it does not include, which is government debt, is if you have any IRS tax liens, that's going to come from the IRS. And the same thing here is you're going to have to be in some type of repayment plan. Otherwise, that's going to get caught at some point and then you could be disqualified. That's why these things happen not right away on the pre-approval process because a lender doesn't pull a CAVERS report with your pre-approval. They ask you questions, and then after those questions, you go under contract, you're pre-approved, you're under contract, you go into the process, and then you find out about two or three weeks into a transaction. So don't get caught off guard. If you have these issues or you think you have these issues, ask the lender to go ahead and pull that report ahead of going under contract on the property. Now, there's also no time limit on these debts. So even if it happened 30 years ago, it's still going to affect you today. Again, no time limit on that as long as uh, it comes up. The other thing is, is that it doesn't these debts don't come up on your credit report. So that also creates some frustration uh, to these issues. But let's go over how to actually fix these issues uh, that come up on your credit report and what that's going to look like. Now, if a student loan comes up on your uh, CAVERS report or if you're in default on a student loan on your credit report, that is this big red flag. Now, a couple things you can do. You can pay off the debt, uh, either cash, and technically you can get a personal loan to pay it off, but now that personal loan is going to count against uh, your qualification for the VA home loan. Now, in April 6th of 2022, they started a new program called the Fresh Start Program. It's the Department of Education put out this program that any debt that you have for your student loans can immediately go into repayment mode and then it won't affect you negatively anymore. Now, if you go into a repayment plan with this program or any of these repayment plans for your student debt, just note, typically a lender is going to want to show six consecutive months of on-time payments to ensure that debt is being paid. Now, you can't make six payments at once. It all has to be paid uh, back over the course of six months, which can hinder you from purchasing a property now. But again, the point of this education is for you guys to be empowered on how to solve these issues, and we're here to help. Uh, and now, when it comes to government overpayment, there's two things with that as well. Either you pay all that money back right away, 
or you're already in a repayment plan to pay that money back. Uh, the example of your VA disability, they might be taking a portion of your pay to pay that debt back and it might not be the full amount. Now, same thing with the goes to TA-50 issues. If you got out of the military, you're in such a hurry, you didn't return some gear, they find you, let's say for a helmet, $1,000, even though it costs like 100 bucks, but that's government contracting for you, uh, then you're going to be responsible for that debt and to pay it off. Now, if you had a foreclosure, now, if you had a VA home loan, you've basically locked out a portion of your entitlement to use the VA home loan unless you pay that entitlement back. So here's a good example of that. Let's say you took out a $200,000 loan in a uh, across the United States. We're not talking high balance loans. That's like anything uh, that basically where homes are really expensive. They allow or they are allowed a higher limit for VA home loans. So we're using a regular uh, VA home loan across the country where it's capped at $726,200 as a reference point. So you go to foreclosure for $200,000 on a VA home loan. You've locked out $200,000 of your benefits. So you basically have $526,200 left over to use on another purchase of a VA home loan. Now, if you want to go over that, you can. Uh, it's just going to require a 25% down payment for the difference. Now, when it comes to uh, SBA loans, it gets a little bit tricky here because sometimes people will file for bankruptcy and include that debt in their bankruptcy, which is great for the purposes of your credit report, but the downside to that, it's still going to come up on your CAVERS report. Now, a couple of things to note on that. Even if you had a uh, the debt go on your CAVERS report, whatever the debt may be, you can still be eligible for the VA home loan. It's going to be up to the lending institution and the underwriter. What story you put together that can justify that you had either undue hardship, job losses. There's a lot of stuff related with COVID that still is applicable in today's environment. So don't disqualify yourself. Reach out to us. We're happy to help. My name is David Piatek with VA Housing Education. Please like and share the video with your fellow military members that are looking to become homeowners at some point. I'll talk to you guys soon.